Remember that time that you were wandering around in a dungeon for hours only to realize you'd been going the wrong direction all along and had to go back and get a key so you could go back to where you were in the first place to answer the call of help? Remember that time you were in the woods and you couldn't figure out which way to go? It was really foggy and you kept going left, but you really should have been going right, up, left, right, up, down. Remember that time you wore an oversized trench coat and wandered into the wrong bathroom and got reprimanded? And I got the album for you, filled with all the old hits that you've never heard before, featuring Yamaha OPL, OPL2, and ad-lib synthesizers from the DOS era, also featuring the Roland Sound Canvas, DOS music for rich people. After that, there's some Super Nintendo fun with those 32 kilobit samples. How did they make it sound so amazing? And then as time went on, we got fully symphonic scores, and that is on here too. So, sit back, have a little nostalgia, remember all the songs you've never heard before on this latest album from the band Zwiehander. And that was obviously a joke. Hope you enjoyed it. It's Zwiehander. It's I can't even pronounce it myself. I don't have the right tools in this mouth of mine. Ranger of the Old Woods is out now. It's the brand new album that I have created for all of you. Hopefully it's filled with euphonious joy. Hope it takes you back to a happy time in your life uh, so that you can relive some of the nostalgia of the past. The first few songs, actually the first six songs, are sort of a concept piece that all go together. It starts off with some DOS stuff, DOS sounding stuff, MIDI and OPL synth, uh, also ad-lib. And then we get some Super Nintendo songs to finish that off. It's a journey. And the lyrics here will tell the story of the journey so you can read along with it. So after that, we really get into something that could be another album, but I didn't want to make you pay twice. Why would I do that? You could just pay once and get a whole bunch of songs. So the second half of the album is sort of an homage to the old cyberpunk and sci-fi games that we all grew up playing. After that, we got a couple of Nintendo style songs. And then to finish it off, we have two symphonic tracks that I think you'll like. Get an idea of the sort of the symphonic stuff that I've been working on. There's a rabbit hole that I went down while making this. And you'll see that we have two songs here that are the same, an NES version and a DOS version. I kind of wanted to put my brain into like the same headspace that a lot of the composers back in the day had to get into. They had to create multiple soundtracks for different bits of hardware because they couldn't just create one MP3 that could be played back on all the same things so that everyone had the exact same sound. They had to take their, their compositions and recreate them or translate them so that they could work on different hardware. And then the music was actually played using the hardware. It wasn't pre-recorded. So an NES version would sound totally different than a Sega Genesis version, and that would sound totally, totally different than a DOS uh, version of the same music. So I sort of played around with that and created an NES version and a DOS version of the same song. And I'm curious to know which version you like the best. After you grab the album, it will be added to your collection. And I'm gonna ask you to do something here. This really helps, but also I'm very curious. I wanna know what song is your favorite on the album after you've given it a listen. Let me know what's your favorite so that way I can know what to work on in the future. It's also just interesting to me. So come over here on the top and click on your, your profile. Go down and view your collection and you'll see all kinds of cool stuff here. Well, click on the album. I'm just going to show you with this Hex and Craft uh, album. You should go grab all of all of his stuff. And then you pick your favorite track and then write a little something here. Yay! And hit save. Do that and I will drive to your house and give you a massive hug. Because it, it truly does make a difference. Writing reviews really, really helps. Uh, but I hope you'll head over to Bandcamp and pick it up. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to say that if you don't have any money, no job, you, you're just broke, busted, and disgusted. I know times are really, really rough right now. And you, you can't even budget the, the $6.66 to buy the 14 songs. I understand. I will not judge you. But, you know, music can really lift the soul. So I am willing to help you out. If you cannot afford it, just send me a message and I will send you a copy. So uh, that, that's, I figure, the least I can do in, when times are really rough like this. So let me know. I'm, I'm glad to help. If you can pick it up, please, please head over to Bandcamp and do pick it up. But if not, let me know. Just send me a, a, you know what, you can click up here. Don't ignore the Facebook thing. I don't check that. Uh, the best place to get me is either to write me an email or to go over to the Twitter uh, account right here that's in the link. And then just send me a message there on Twitter. I'll read it and I'll 
you know, write you back and send you a copy of the album because everyone deserves to enjoy stuff, not just the people who have jobs and are making money right now. So anyway, that's the end. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and please do leave a review over on Bandcamp. Enjoy the album. Happy Halloween. Happy Samhain. Happy uh, Autumn Equinox. Whatever. See you in the comments. <laughs>